I speak of the pure heart, and I speak of you, love me. It is you. W what sayest thou? The pure heart was hidden ingeniously to keep it away from evil sorts like me. Granby changed the pure heart into a NIMBY, then he called his own daughter. Ha ha, that is just silly, my mother and father. Oh, priceless, you really think Granby pays an ounce of attention to you out of love? That's no... Thou liest! Father, say us something! Love me, oh... Brouhaha, the old fool can weigh the sins of others, but not his own. It cannot be... Love me, we can talk later, right now just take Granby to safety. Quickly! Okay. Many thanks for delivering the pure heart. Once I deal with you, no one can stop me. I shall be invincible. Please, as your game ends, remember, it is an honor to have it ended by my talons. Hmm, so what will we do? Looks like we're gonna have to throw things or something. That did some damage. Icicles falling. Stuff going crazy. Oh, now we got big icicles. Even more damage, right? Oh, good grief. Well, this is not going well. Can't even get a hit in on him. There we go. All right, time to use fire against ice. It's not working. Almost dead. Almost dead. But we do have this, which will max out our HP. So I might just go with that. There we go. Are you dead yet? Clearly not. Hurry up and fall, icicles. Good grief. It's like watching paint dry. Done yet, good grief. There we go, first try. Bra! How impossible. How could you puny worms destroy a master of the cold dark? Magic or something. Of course. Disassemble! That was done a fine job. That was saved our realm. Father? The words of that thing were lies, yeah? Thou and mother aren't my parents? Well, love be. Mother! I had not received word of your safe arrival, so I came looking. Are you well? Speak as to me now, Mother, Father, and thee. Art thou verily my parents? Wait a minute. Why do you... What? Pretty Mother, speak as the truth to me. 
Lovey, you. You are not really our child. So it is true? The pure heart was always in danger of falling into the hands of evil, darling. The Grams and I decided to transform it into a shape that no one would suspect. And that was me? What? What was that? The pure heart does struggle against love, love be identity. It seeketh its true form. Until it sends someone nearby worthy of possessing it. It must be these fair folk. So, uh, uh, thou sayest I am meant to be with him. He verily is my prince. This still stink. He is completely wrong for me. I speak seriously to you. This hath no humor to it. Fine. I shall return to my pure heart form. And I shall go with Mario and his friends. Thou art certain? If thou turnest back into the pure heart, the Nibby known as Lovey will cease to exist. Nay, perhaps I already have. I remember being the pure heart now in truth. And the world would end if I did not do it. Is this not so? So I should just... Wait. Why do I explain myself to thee? Thou art not my real father, so quiet. But what? To think all the times thou hast scolded me. Thou didst know I was not long for this world. Why didst thou not let me have fun? Nay, instead I suffered an angry fake father and a nagging fake mother. I had no life? How dost thou plan to make that up to me? Love be. Sayest thou what thou wilt to me, but taketh not to thy mother that way, but talketh not. Perhaps thy sass shall end once thou changeth form. What dost thou wait for? Oh, giveth me a break. I must do it whether thou wish or not. It shall be a relief. Thou art an ungrateful brat. Dost thou not recall when I lingered by thy ill bedside? I scoff at thy lingering. Why dost thou not giveth me back the present I bought with my saved allowance? What madness doth spew from thy lips? Who gaveth thee that allowance? And thou didst lie to get the money too. Thou didst pretend to buy school books. How dost thou dare to lecture on lying? And why dost thou think I lied? I thought that mother and thee, I thought thou wouldst be happy. The pair of thee, thou art not real parents. I, I hate thee. That is enough, love thee. It is true that we created you as a means of protecting the pure heart, but Grams and I came to love you as a true daughter. We wanted to be with you for all time to protect you. You became a part of us. Perhaps we were wrong to create you, and if we only caused pain, we apologize. Oh, mother, thou needst not apologize. My dear mother, thank thee. About time, just give me the pure heart. The pure heart doth wish to assume its original form. Love me. Tippy, take us good care of the real me. And save us the world, yeah? Such is my final wish, so if thou dost not do it, thou art most unkind. I understand. Father, mother, fare thee well. Love me. Oh, my darling. I am sorry for lying earlier, because in truth, I, I love thee both. Now ye prophesied ones, destined heroes, taketh our dear daughter, taketh the pure heart. Okay, Gramby. And sweareth this to me, thou must prevail. Let no one else in the universe feel this sadness. Okie dokie. Very well, then I am satisfied. Now love me, thou must go. Oh, Grams. Don't cry, huh? Love Bee was really annoying, so, like, I'm not even sad. But that's just me. End of chapter, good grief. Heroes.
My daughter wanted thee to save all worlds. Twas her final wish. Grammy spoke slowly through his tears as the brave Nimbys cleaned up the over there. Draped in sadness, Queen Jades walked slowly to replace in the underwear. Mario, his friends, and the eighth pure heart were all that remained. This pure heart had come at a high price. Let us hope it was all worthwhile. You know, if you give me a tissue right now, I'll probably just stuff it into my ears so I don't have to listen to Love Bee anymore. She was so annoying. Oh. What? Spat Count Black in utter disbelief. Surely this news cannot be true. The heroes still live? Ah ha ha! Oh, I'm afraid so, my Count. In fact, they will be here before long. What? Is that true then? What are we doing twiddling our biscuits here? Count Black, let me go throw him a nice welcome party. I'll bring the punch. Oh, I want a party with those party poopers too. Wait up, O-Chunks. Me, 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 me. Shut up. Well, I'm not one to miss a party. Oh, but wait one moment, dear Count. Does the name Plumier ring a bell? Where did you hear that name, Dementio? Oh, the must the mustache man's pixel went on. She said I must stop Blumir. Oh, Dementio was saying that. I voiced it wrong. Whatever. But I suppose there's no reason to pay any mind to the ramblings of a pixel. Ciao for now, my Count. <laughs> count Black, if, um, that pixel is who you think it is, there's still time. You can still stop the prophecy from destroying everything. Yeah, because if that's really her, if she's alive, you have to stop all this. You know not what you are saying, Nastasia. The prophecy can no longer be stopped by Count Black. No one can stop it. Yeah, I'm on board with what you're saying, but there must be a way. There must. Lord Blumir? Bleh! <laughs> the man known as Blumir died long ago. Now there is only Black. The Dark Prognosticus's choice to fulfill the prophecy. Nothing more. But... Come to Count Black, heroes. If you hope to save these worlds, then come. Bleh! Black. I like his top hat. Blumir, my son, don't. Even your ancestors could not handle that dark book. If you open it, there's no telling what might happen. I do not care, father. A world without her is empty. A life without her is empty. Speak, dark prognosticus. Teach your dark history. I await your command. Bleh, black. Blumir, what have you done? Silence! The first prophecy beckons. I will erase every inch of this blasted world. Lumir, don't do this! Lumir! Lumir is no more. I am Count Black, and no one shall stand in my way. Bleh, Black. No, Lumir, you mustn't! Darling, how could you? Oh, darling, you, why? Hey, Tippy, snap out of it, will you? What? I thought you just gone back to town, but then I saw you lying there, not moving. And then you started shouting loudly. I have to say, it kind of startled me. Mamma mia! Um, I'm alright. I'm sorry for startling you. Glumir, is that a person's name you were saying? Are you remembering something from your past, perhaps? No, it's nothing. Nothing at all. So, should we go to Merlin's? We gotta tell him that we found the last pure heart? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. So, we have gathered all the pure hearts and all four of the heroes, it seems. Oh, yeah. Now we can just stomp this Count Black guy and call it a day. I fear for the poor people of this world who must continue to look at the sky and worry. We must act quickly and erase... ease their hearts and minds. Erase? No ease, dude. What troubles you, Tippy? The prophecy. Do we really have to destroy Count Black to stop it from happening? Much of the dark prophecies already come to pass, but stop it, we must. It was by Count Black's hand that the Chaos Heart was summoned, bringing this peril. Without him, the prophecy's power will wither, 
and all worlds can avoid their ends. Yes, I suppose you're right. I guess we always knew that, didn't we? Tippy, what's the matter, huh? Or is that Luigi speaking? I can't even tell. My dear, was there something between you and this Count Black? Um, no, nothing. It was nothing. I'm fine! Let's go! Very well, then. Once again, your first task is to set this pure heart in a heart pillar. Once you've done that, you must head back to the Black Tower in Flopside. Or head to the Black Tower in Flopside, it probably says. I don't think I've ever been there before. Now, where might the last heart pillar be? I don't feel like searching for it. The eighth heart pillar, the final one. So, step one is to go to Flopside. And... Earlier in this big long stream, or whatever, we built a warp pipe that leads right to it. It's a blue warp pipe. So it's a bit of a sh- I had to pay 300 coins for this, but it was worth it. Straight to flop side we go. So we always have to go to Nelrom's place or whatever. I'll save again, why not? It's instantaneous, basically. But we're gonna have to flip, so we have to have Mario. So then, across the path, go to the right. Across the path, go to the right. We go across the path. Boing, 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 boing. And then, we apparently just go to the right. Is that right? Or is it left? Oops! Good grief, man. Can't be killing yourself now. Oh, and here it is, apparently. I could have gotten to this one any time, though. Oh, well. What's happening now? Oh, that's right, there's World 8. I guess it's the final world, but... Now it's nearly 6 a.m. and I'm going to bed. It would suck to do this while really tired anyway. Save it whenever I stream next. Oh! Nalrem is here or whatever. So, the time has come! Merlin's twin, basically, from Flopside. Heroes! The last door is at the top of Flopside Tower in the center of town. I'll go ahead and wait there for you. Once you prepare for the battle that waits beyond that door, come to me. Okay. So I'll probably just head back and save in Flopside, since I have to be in Flopside for the last world anyway, right? I don't even know. But whatever's next, we'll find out later. There should be a save block somewhere around here. It's right here. We will save. And he told me to come to the Flopside Tower, right? So we probably take the elevator to go up and stuff. So I guess we'll be doing that next time, which is cool. Thanks for hanging out. And may we meet again in the future.